How's it going, everybody? My name is Jurassic Guy. I'm your host today, and we'll be looking at the many variations of the Jurassic Park Raptors toy line. Anyways, we'll be starting from 1993 all the way to 2018 and to the horrendous 2015. So if you can just sit back and relax and let me have about eight minutes of your day, let's go ahead and get this video started. We're going to start off things with our 1993 baby Velociraptor. This is just a small version of the Velociraptor we're getting next to you, but you can get this guy with Wave 2 Muldoon. Um, there's really not much to say other than it's a solid piece of plastic. This next Velociraptor, which is the scaled up version, same coloring, same everything, uh, except it's actually big. Now, this guy has one gimmick, and that one is to bite. You know, just bite ferociously. This thing has a 360 on one leg. Sadly, the other leg can do that since that's the triggering gimmick, and uh, you kind of don't want to break that. Um, it can stand well on solid surfaces, but uh, not in uh, carpet for obvious reasons. But um, this version was used two times, and that was for the 1997 versions, as they would just plaster signs to site B. Starting off, which our 1997 version, which is right here. This is literally the exact same one for 1991. It's the different version. I like to refer to it as the big one or the alpha, since it's more colored and more detailed, and I love the uh, blue gullet. Fun fact though, the eyes are what makes them very expensive. I have one yellow eye, but you want to go after the ones with the green. The green were the most um, rare to find, let's say. Same gimmicks and all. Um, as you can see, that one was a green eye, so that one was rare. Apparently, they go for 50 or stuff like that, but we're not getting into prices. You can look that up yourself. And now, they have a... Or an electronic Velociraptor. I completely forgot this is the 1993 electronic Velociraptor. This guy makes noises, which is this noise. Yeah, that's about it. That's all it does. It's pretty much all it does. Um, you can't really move anything. The hands can go up that high. Um, most of it just comes from the freaking noise. Uh, the battery just died. Darn it. But uh, yeah, it's really it a bit. It's just a solid piece of plastic that makes noise, but it's still really cool. I do like the color on it too. Starting off again, we're going now into our 1997 Utah Raptor. Uh, as you can see, it does have a cover hole, but it does make a cool noise. So I can bite. It does that noise. I accidentally trigger that. Um, but yeah, it's about it. It can... Uh, Look up that far is actually pretty big, believe it or not. And, uh, well, compared to the other ones, they're dwarfed. So check it out. Baby and our raptor. This is a Utah raptor, so it basically still counts as it is a raptor. The hands can do a 360 all around, which is really nice. The legs really can't do anything due to the mechanic, but um, one leg triggers it, I think. Yeah, there you go. And yeah, it's this one right here. Triggers the triggers the sound. And uh well the other leg can just do that. Um I do like the coloring on it and how big it is. I will have to say it's personally one of my favorite figures. I especially like the black stripes and it looks more like the raptors we saw in the movie. But saying that, let's go ahead and move on to 2001. Now starting in the 2001, uh, I only have one raptor, which is this one, and it's a red raptor. Um, likes to make growling noises. Uh, I will have to say legs are very loose. I do like the coloring, but like I said, those legs are super loose. But uh, there's something cool it could do. Yeah, it can make that noise. It's pretty cool. I love it. It's one of my favorite noises. I'm just gonna do 360. Just move around for for this uh, noising thing. And well, overall. That's, that's really all the arms can do. The legs can do a full 360, both sides, but that's thanks to time and, you know, how I've broken the toy over over the years, but eh, it's alrighty. But uh, I do do like the uh, the red on it. It does make it look uh, very menacing. I like to refer to this one as like the Alpha or Rogue Raptor. I don't like the little spines in the back, but that was kind of the thing and moved on to the 2015 too. I wish they... I really wish they did more of the coloring that the actual actors had in the movie, but that doesn't bug me as much as I like. This is a pretty good coloring, too. But in saying so, let's go ahead and move on to the Toys R Us Bite is Back recolor version, and I'll tell you why it's a bit more my favorite. I can't tell, 
This is a repaint from Hasbro. Literally same thing. Um, same gimmicks. Oh. There you go. Okay, well, it's broken, but the growl works. Yeah, still works. As you can hear, something's going on with it, but no matter. I really like this figure a lot. I do like the blue and the little, like, striping on it. This one, unlike the red one, can actually stand on by itself. It's not too old. It's still pretty old. Um, not as old as me. <laughs> on the side together, though, uh, they look pretty good, like a dynamic duo. You can clearly tell which one's more superior. I love the coloring, the tan, and the black and brown lines on it. I feel like it looks really nice. I especially like the face better on this one. It makes it look more, a bit more realistic, but on the same time, I do prefer the red. Oh, wait. Ah, the camera needs to focus. Hold up. And let's try it now. There you go. You can see it a bit better now. The eye's a bit cleaner than the other one, but uh, let's see if I can focus this one now. Probably going to be a little pain. Come on. Focus. Focus. There you go. As you can see, I like the other one, but this one has a cool color, uh, color screen too. They're both very nice, in my opinion. I just prefer the little face lines on this one. Moving on to face comparisons, here is our 1997 repaint, or whatever you want to call it, Velociraptor. Our 1993 Raptor. Baby Raptor. 1997 Utah Raptor. And our 1993 Electronics Utah Raptor. We have now these. going into 2015. Yeah. These are personally you know, not I kind my of favorite. buying these, but it's okay. Uh, it's at all. So uh, I'm going to go uh, ahead and start off with the worst sometime. one. Which is this one. Yeah, this blue. I hate it with a passion. Like, a lot. <sighs> Where do I begin? The face, super plasticky. I hate it. Like, oh, I felt beyond cheap. This thing cost me $10 when... Freaking could have cost me seven, all right? It's so slim. Body proportions don't match up. The bullet holes. The teeth are painted all over. Like, nobody give two flying Fs. The snout is longer. It's just, there's just nothing put into the figure. Well, I do like it's how, like, the snake-like head movement. I wish they had that in our current ones, but no. No, we don't. Let's begin with our four exclusive target pack. Now, I got this one a long time ago as a present. We're going to keep this one to the end because that's actually one of my favorites. But uh, let's go ahead and start off with one of my favorites too, uh, Delta. Now, these guys are more like an office toy. This thing is huge. Like, it's bigger than the Utah Raptor. It has to be in that pose in order to put it back in the shelf because it's a pain to freaking stand it. Um, it's big. I don't even know how I can fit into frame. Like, I can barely put it in the frame. But uh, stand up. There you go. That, that's That's... I give up. That's how I'm going to put it. But uh, compared to the Utah Raptor, that thing has height. And it's pretty good. Uh, I love the face. I hate the teeth. The teeth are sp splattered over like... I, I don't know. Freaking child did it. But um, in the other way, I like the eyes and all that. The the color brown on it. It's very nice. It's very nice. But um, pretty much, you can't really move the jaw. The tongue is stuck. You know, you can't do anything. It's like clay the thing i had the problem is it has no sickle claw like come on like look at this figure this one for crying out loud is the chungus and it has the freaking sickle claw and the ones that had the sickle claw would just fall over it's why i never bought them too and they had this ugly damage for cry like for goodness sake that one had it you know either or other way though it's pretty solid hand can do 360 it's pretty nice long hands but uh let's go ahead and move on to echo so here she is. This is Echo, and this one has iffy feelings with me. Now, like I said, like, seriously, you can't do anything with it. It's a statue for crying out loud. You can't even close the mouth or anything. But, um, you know, it still looks good. I like the coloring on it. The teeth with the others just splashed, like, just splashed with a big paintbrush. I don't know. Something I have a big problem with the figure and the toy line. But uh, the arms can do 360, like every other raptor. And, uh, well, the legs, you can do it too, but, you know, they're super stiff, and each time I try and move them, I feel like I might break them. I've even used a hairdryer technique, and it still feels freaking tight AF. I love the green stripes, though. Once again, I do like the coloring a lot. And, uh, well, that's pretty much it, I have to say, with this figure. I don't have too many opinions or feelings about this figure, so let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Two out of four done, this is Charlie, and this is probably one of the worst figure-ish I've ever had. Like, I love it at times, but I also hate it. Like, 
once again has the teeth problem, but this one's actually kind of decent. Ah, feels cheap. Stone solid. Hands can go up and down. They can also do a 360, but, well, we've already shown you enough of that. Um, I will have to say I do prefer the colors on this one than on the Amber Collection, but I don't have any Amber Raptors or own any to actually show. So let's go ahead and, and move into the next one. And here's Blue. <sighs> Pick her up. This one's mix. Actually, no, I do like it. It's better than this piece of garbage right here. And, uh, well, the teeth... This is probably the worst one with the teeth, I have to be honest. It actually got over the lip on one side. As you can see, it's all ground up and all, but like I said, it's basically the exact same figure as Echo. So there's really nothing much to say except of the cool thing it could do. So I'm gonna go ahead and move into my black light and show you what I mean. Before I forget, it came with this little black light thing, but it's kind of out of battery. So I'm gonna use my actual black light and show you what it really does, but it's basically a small black light. This is why I like this figure a bit too. Yeah, when you hit black light, these little blue things happen. It's pretty cool. I like it a lot. And it redeems the figure a bit. I don't know how I have not like either chipped off what's on there that's making that. But hey, it is what it is. So let's go ahead and move on to the next few figures we're going to work on. So starting out with the Mattel line. Oh, I'll edit that out later. Anyway, so this blue figure is amazing way better than 2015 but i do have to say it is the exact same as this charlie so we'll use the blue instead of the charlie this time focus focus there you go i'll have to say this face sculpt is way better than the one we got in 2015 personally i don't like these rubbery fingers but this is the cheap version so what else are you gonna get but it's good it sizes up with the figures very well so when you play with them they're actually on scale and par um, legs can go up that far. They can probably do 360 if you put your mind to it, but we're not going to do that. Here's the code if you want to scan it. You probably already have it, though. Now, since I did the Baby Raptor, it's only fair enough we do these little ones, too. This is a small blue. There's really nothing much to say about it. It can move its legs, do 360 with them. The hands are also made out of rubbery thing. Um, I actually do like the metallic on it and the nice little blue stripe. It's nice. It's better than the little crappy ones we got in 2015. And here is this baby blue you get. You can barely see it. That you get with uh, Trainer Owen. So, yeah. It's tail stuffy, but it's cute and adorable. But uh, let's go ahead and show you this legacy one I got. Believe it or not, I actually found this figure on the ground on Target. I looked for the person who probably owned it, but they didn't. nobody claimed it. So I took it home. And, uh, well, as you can see, can do a 360. And, uh... I don't move the legs because they're stiff AF and, well, you can move the arms. But let's go ahead and review my favorite Raptors that I own. So looking at these few Raptors, these are my all-time favorites. Starting off with this blue one, you know why I love it so much. But uh, as we all know, sadly, I think it's going to burst anytime soon. But as you can see, I chipped that toe and I played with it a lot. So, you know, freak it, you know, but there it is. Uh, this blue figure because of the uh, iridescent and black lighting. I love it a lot because of that. Utah Raptor for the color and just how big it is and how beefy it is. I just love that. This baby because it's just too freaking adorable. Last but not least, this Raptor. It really made my childhood and on top of that, it looks like an Alpha Raptor. This one with the same reason as the other one. And also I like the green eye a lot. Hey, thanks for watching my video. If you feel like I deserved it, please leave a like and subscribe. And comment down below what you think about this generation. See you next toy review. Bye bye.